Your player is a kinematic body 2D. Give it a script, it'll need a few variables. Speed, acceleration, gravity, jump speed, friction, velocity. In physics process, you want to do four things. Move and slide, this will actually move the player. Apply traction, friction, and gravity. We'll write these functions soon. Soon has arrived. Traction is the most complex of them. You want this traction variable that is 1 if you're pushing right, negative 1 if you're pushing left, and 0 if you're pushing both or neither. Add that to the velocity's x component, multiplied by the variables acceleration and delta, and the player now has the ability to accelerate. Friction. Subtract from the velocity's x component itself, multiplied by friction and delta. This will slow down the player, in the horizontal direction only, so they cannot keep accelerating to infinitely high speeds. Gravity. Simply add gravity times delta to the velocity's y component. This will cause the player to accelerate downward at all times. The last thing to do is add the ability to jump. For this, I like to use the input function to call a jump method. That method simply sets the velocity's y component to negative jump speed. Negative, because positive y values face downward, so negative ones face upward. At the moment, the player can jump even while in the air. To remedy this, call the jump function only when the player is on the floor. This is on floor check only works when you specify the upward direction in the move and slide call. The upward direction is 0, negative 1. There you go, basic platformer controls. You can tweak all these values to make it feel different, although I like to have acceleration always be about 10 times the speed. Here's what it looks like with those tweaks. Please enjoy your newfound forbidden powers to make basic platformer games.